Hey everybody and welcome to another oh, Christmas time. decade video. Today is day remember. number nine. Almost running out of fingers here to count on. And today's video we are going to be doing a 2010's candy video. Now you may say, Hannah, what happened to the rest of the videos? Because the only one to the 1940s or 50s, I can't remember the number. We decided to take a break because I cannot do candy videos all the time because one, it costs a lot of money to do those videos. Second of all, the candy videos tend to make me sick a lot. We and do I prefer not to be sick anymore. But today's help. question is, what is your favorite Christmas candy? Or what is just your favorite candy in general? But before we get into the video, let's get right started now. on the other calendars. People I don't know. So I moved on to the second tier. And I'm supposed to ask them. It's true. I can pick a first one. I'm picking a puppy one. Okay, good. It's a red, it's like a pinkish reddish Rufa. Yes. Okay, I am on day nine now. Remember this if I, I forget it, okay? I open these beforehand because these are really hard. Oh, I'm, I'm putting it in this folder. I got though. this, this, okay. but I thought, See once again, I am mistaken it because the soaps in the, um, the soaps in the bath bombs, oops, yeah, are really close to the same right? size, but they, the, uh, all the bath scissors have been stars right now, um, and then the soaps, there was two blue ones two before, and now I have a purple rose one, but they all smell the same. And I wish that they, they didn't all smell the same because they all okay, smell bland. Well, let's get into okay. the video. Guess we are starting with the ones that are um, gummies because we have recently found out in past videos that if you do gummies and chocolates mixed together, that the ones that you'll eat after the gummies will not taste the way they're supposed to taste and they will taste nasty. So we're doing all those first and then we'll do the chocolate ones. So the first one that we are doing, and Grace, you can hold them up for me, is we are doing Swedish Fish, which were actually made in in the 1950s, but were starting to become popular as of 2011, and they were manufactured by Malco, and um, they actually had a mini-series on YouTube, I forgot what it was called, but it was made in 2016, you probably should just look up um, Swedish Fish mini-series, and these are actually uh, fat-free gummy candies. And they look like this. And we've had these before. I love to stretch these up and just eat them. So good. Go be. The next one that we have is, I don't have really a lot of information about this, but it is the Starburst Minis Unwrapped. Now they just have, they have Starburst Unwrapped, but they also had Starburst but Minis were. Unwrapped. And, oops, some fell out. Um, I was able to find a really, really tiny package of them at the dollar store because I couldn't find these because they cost a lot of money and then I saw oh let's just do Starburst gummies and then when I was in the checkout I saw these next to the hundred calorie only anyways um they were made in 2018 so last year and this is how tiny they are and they're good just like Starburst I want to you. the next one is the most recent one that we have it is the Airhead Gummies. They were made in 2019. That's all I can say about them. I don't know. Do you guys classify gummies as their own type of candy? Or do you not classify them as candies? But here's the packaging for them. And they got different shapes for them. I thought they were more shaped like balloons than they are. And they smell weird too. See? Like it's got a smiley face on it. If you can see. And they taste just like airheads, except they don't—they don't have the same texture as airheads, and they're really chewy. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the next one that we have. Now this is the only one I. Okay, there was more than one, but this one uh, is Take Five. Um, in Canada, it's actually called Max Five, and it was Those made in two thousand four, and you're like. That doesn't qualify, but in 2014 is when they actually became popular, and they switched them from the orange and black to the green the and black wrappers. Um, and They're in 2019, and this is one that we're having, because I cannot find any actual Take 5 candies, we are going to be doing the collaboration of the Reese's 
and take five together. Oh, and I got it in a king size, and so it comes in pieces. It comes in three pieces. But this is what the collaboration looks like. If you haven't seen it, and this is what the candy looks like. So it's like it's um covered in chocolate with a peanut butter filling, and then like bits and pieces of like pretzel. I'm guessing or nuts. Right, pretzel. Interesting, right? It's so sweet and salty, but together. Right. Nice. Continuing yeah. on the Reese's vibe that we have, Ooh. we are going to do the Reese's Outrageous Candy Bar that came out last year in 2018. And I remember these coming out because I really wanted one. And it is um, Reese's Pieces with peanut butter covered in chocolate. And... Um, and it has caramel in it, which is something I don't usually see. This is what it looks like. Look, now, me and Grace have both had these before, so it's no joke when we say that we like these. I don't know, do you like these or no? I can't remember. And these, usually when you open these, they, like, for some reason, the caramel thinks it's okay to just, like, get all over everything. Let me pause the video for a second. Yeah. So the caramel actually came out, and yeah, so it, it looks like this. It's still okay. It's just really sticky, but it's so good. Yummy. Okay, next one we have Oreo b candy bars. Did you know that Oreos made a candy bar? They came out in 2016. And it is combined with Milka chocolate. I can't remember if it was a European brand or if it's a Canadian brand of chocolate. Like I put together, oh, I don't like those with uh, Oreo chocolate candy bar, and what it looks like. And it also comes in a mint. But we just, I only found the cookies and cream before I found the mint, and it comes in little pieces here. I remember having those for the uh, one of our candy things, and it did not taste good. Did you want one? No. I get. It. I like Oreos, but like. At the same time, in a bar, no. Just it takes you down a route. Okay, the next one that we have is the Hershey's Gold Bar, made in 2017. I've never tried that. So two years ago, and it is made with peanuts and pretzels. And I have had one of these, and it also is caramelized cream to keep it together. It looks just like this. If you haven't seen them, they're probably the ones that just sit in the back because nobody really likes them. But then again, nobody has really eaten them. So they never know. And I have had one. So I've never had one. This is what it looks like. What does it look like? What does it taste like? Do they have nuts I in them? I was a shield. It's like crunched up pretzel. Pretzel and peanuts. So it will taste different from the regular Hershey's bar because it's not milk chocolate. It's caramel. I've found a bunch of places that mm. Watching banana, he's got nuts. Yes, Okay, and then the last one we have <laughs> that I actually don't similar. have with me at this time because they made them this like past. They were popular this past summer, and then as time dwindled into Wait, the winter what? time, they stopped selling them because it's done with. And that is the sweet and heat Skittles, and I've seen them all over the shelf. They come in like a black wrapper. They were made in 2018. And the flavors were mango, watermelon, orange, lemon, and strawberry with some sort of, like, heat-flavored word in front of them. Now, I do not have them, but they may be in a future video if we ever decide to make another 2010 video. Because there was a lot of candies that I could not put on this group of things because they weren't selling them either in stores right now. We're not available to get them because we don't have a store nearby. Or because I could get them online. But the one that we that I have mentioned before in the Christmas candy video, by the way, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it because it's fun. I was talking about how peppermint bark is oh. like the Hershey's candy cane bark. Yeah, oh. And here I have it with us. And this is Grace's absolute favorite candy right now. <coughs> it's battling against the payday bar. Um, but this came out in 2013, and yes, it is just like peppermint bark, except mm -hmm. it's a lot better 
Then peppermint bark. Rachel, give it to me. I want mm. some. <laughs> give me that. We get half and half of this, even though Grace probably wants the whole thing. I do. And no, you can have half of it. You only have one square. No, half, half and half. Because that's how it works. No! Yeah! No! Yep, there you go. No, I want the other like. half. Give me the other half. And it smells really good, and I will not eat it for the video because <laughs> I'm, I'm done. Grace is in love no! with it. No! No! Give it back! Show the love for peppermint. Give it back! Show the love for it. I don't know how many times we have eaten this in like the past week, but it's just, there's been a lot. I don't know. Give it back to me! Are. Okay, did you guys enjoy this video? I sure hope you did because we had a lot of fun eating candy once no. again and coming back to these old candy videos. Even though these are all candies that we knew of, so that's why these are going to be so much fun to eat the rest of. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe down below, also turn on the notification bell down below. Also, comment down below what your your favorite 2010 candy is that we have or if yours is from a different time zone make sure also to follow on our instagram at you pretty little thing and also our cat vague and the cat on instagram and we will see you guys again for day number 10 tomorrow bye, bye.